and I know, and you know, and we know, we all know, the ghost lets us smell. It so well, my Hi guys, Scotty here, and I am super excited because my favorite scents from Better Homes and Gardens are finally out. The Christmas, winter, holiday collection, if you will, for the wax melts. Yes, praise the gods. Anyways, let's just get right into it, and I'm going to show you an overview really quick. I have, there's quite a few. This whole side is all foodie and drink kind of scents for the Christmas releases, and this is all the earthy ones. And there definitely is way more foodie and drink scents this year. There's actually nine, so almost a whole sleeve, pretty much, of those kind of scents. And then we have only seven earthy Christmas scents. Let's get started onto this side. This first one is a returning scent from last year, and this one is called Iced Winter Cranberry. And this smells amazing, guys. It's basically a straight-up... Um, cranberry scent, not sweet. It's more of a savory cranberry. Um, and then it has the iced winter aspect with like a tiny bit of mint, just a little bit. Um, you don't really smell mint per se. It's just the cranberry is so brisk and chilly smelling that I'm guessing there must be mint in this. And there's no sweetness really. It's really all about the, the icy cranberry. And it's really nice because, you know, all these fall and other Christmas cranberry scents are like uh, cranberry chutney or cranberry compote or whatever. And this is nothing like that. This is definitely a winter cranberry scent. Okay, the next one is another returning scent from previous years. And this one is called Candied Mulberry Spice. Now this one is very, very sweet. Oh my gosh. Um, in fact, in my opinion, the sweetness is really what kind of grabs you at first when you smell this. This is definitely a mulberry scent. Um, you know, mulberry has that nice spicy Christmas quality to it. I love that about it. I love the spice that a mulberry has. There's also something else about this that kind of is, it's like almost like there's a little bit of cranberry in here too or something. It's just so sweet. It's And it's just like it says in the title. It's very candied, if that makes sense. So you're not just smelling um, spiced uh mulberry, you're smelling like sugar, like candied sugar along with it. It's very, very um, sweet. It's a dark, kind of plummy purple color. I feel like you do have to have a sweet tooth to kind of really enjoy that one. It's very sweet. The next one is another returning scent, and this one not only comes out with the winter Christmas scents, it also comes out in the fall time. It's called Spicy Cinnamon Stick. Now this is not like Better Homes and Gardens. Uh, cinnamon and spice. That's kind of like just a general sweet cinnamon uh, scent. This is totally different. This is like cinnamon turned up to 10. This is a very, very spicy cinnamon. I really like it. It's one of my favorite cinnamons, actually, because it is so spicy. Look at it. You can even see the oils kind of running in there, too. It's a really nice dark red color. Um, I really like this because it is just so spicy. It literally smells like a red hot candy. That's what it smells like. Okay, the next one is another returning scent from last year, and this is called Christmas Morning Latte. Now, I'm, it's not that I dislike uh, coffee scents, they're just not, they just don't do anything totally for me. Every once in a while I'll really like like a dark, robust coffee kind of a scent. Um, that's not what this one is though. This one is more of, like it says, a latte. It's very creamy. This smells like literally like creamy, frothy coffee. The coffee is light, the cream is heavy. It's like one of those things like have a little coffee with all your cream kind of a thing. That's what this smells like. And I also get eggnog in this. Let me know if you guys smell eggnog in this with the coffee and cream. Because that's, for some reason when I melt this, it's almost like I'm like, like sniffing the air. Like, am I smelling eggs too or something? It's kind of, it's just so frothy. I think that's what it is. They got the froth note so like authentic in this that it's giving me like an eggnog kind of a vibe with the coffee. Very spicy, too. Okay, the next one is a new one for this year, and it is called White Cranberry Amaryllis, and it's a red color. Now, it's been, it's been a few years, but Better Homes had a winter scent called Scarlet Amaryllis for a Christmas they brought out, and it was a big hit. Everyone loved it, and I think that it was kind of a surprise because, you know, florals aren't for everyone. Um... You know, over the past year, I've really come around to florals. This one is good. 
this smells really good. You definitely smell the, the fresh cranberry with the floral. So it's kind of like a fruity floral. It's not really super sweet, but it is, it's like a fresh cranberry, and then you get that, like, soft floral in the background. Now, amaryllis is not like a blazing, loud, like, white floral. It's not super heady and annoying where you're going to get, like, a headache from it. It's more like, almost like a rose. Think like the smell of a rose. So it smells almost like a rosy cranberry scent. Very different, very unique. Really like it. Um, can't wait to try it, actually. I'm kind of surprised. The next one is another new one for this year. And this one is really different. Actually, this is the one that I think they took the biggest risk on. Um, it's called pomander and pine cones. Pomander, if you don't know, is basically orange and clove or orange and clove and mulling spices and all that kind of stuff. It's a very clovey orange is what pomander is. Um, this smells very <laughs> different. It's an earthy orange. That's what it is. I smell orange juice, basically. Uh, the spices are way in the background, so it's not your typical pomander, because pomander is usually super strong on the clove. Um, the spices are in the background, but what I get is a very earthy orange. You definitely smell the pine cones, or what is the pine cones? Uh, it's like a very earthy orange. That's the best way I can describe it. It's different. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I want to um, melt it first to make up my mind, because it's just different. The next one is definitely... Probably going to be a favorite for many of you guys out there, especially bakery lovers. This is an incredible new scent for this year. It's called Frosted Honey Cake. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, this is one of those things where hands are up to the gods. I mean, this smells amazing. This is definitely a bakery scent. You smell cake. I smell cake. Amazing honey cake. Now, this does have that same smell that, like, Sensational's Be Sweet, that honeycomb scent in it. I can smell a touch of orange in with that, like, super honey, sweet nectar kind of a scent. Um, I'm not saying that it is that same scent. They just, you know, it definitely has that in it. But what it has additionally to it is that, like, sugary cake scent. And I actually smell the cake batter, like, note, and that's what I like most about this scent. It smells amazing. I, I predict that this one is going to be, like all over the place. It is very, very, very good. It's a really beautiful honey orange color. Absolutely love that one. The next one is another new one for this year, and this is a drink scent, and this one is called Cranberry Apple Martini. Now this one is amazing. The wax is a red color. Last year they had Sparkling Party Punch, and this is what's replacing that, I'm guessing um, because that one didn't come out, and this is another, like, a fruit punch scent. I do smell cranberries and apples, but I'm getting a whole bunch of, like, cherry fruit punch. I smell orange in here, too, so cranberry, apple, orange, and cherry fruit punch. Amazing. Love it. The last one in this bakery category is another, going to be another favorite. I just know it. Uh, this one is called Gourmet Cookie Shop, and the wax is a vanilla cookie color. This one is absolutely amazing. Now, this is one of the best bakery scents I have ever smelled, you guys. This is a dupe, in my opinion, for Sensational's Oatmeal Cookies or Ambiescence Oatmeal Cookies. It's amazing. It just smells incredible. It has the vanilla bakery note, spices, definitely. It definitely has that, like, spice sugar cookie scent in there. Um, and then it just has that oatmeal brown sugar, like brown sugar and spiced cinnamon. Oh, my gosh. Amazing bakery scent. Have to check it out. Incredible. Oh, that one is just so amazing. Okay, let's get over to the earthy stuff. This one has been around for a long time. This is Fresh Cut Fraser, and this is just like their basic pine scent they bring out for fall, too, and it's the green color. This is a really nice, just a fresh, clean pine. Um, you know, it has that invigorating, camphorous pine needle scent. You know, opens up your nasal passage. It's a really nice, fresh, authentic uh, Fraser fir. Just can't go wrong. The next one is another one that's been around for many years, and for very good reason. This is Sparkling Berry Garland, and it's a light green color. This one smells amazing. This has that pine note, but it also has, like, sage, and then I think it has, like, um, like, it could possibly even have, like, lavender mixing with the sage, because I'm getting, like, a soapy vibe from this as well. 
but it's in a good way. I know it might sound weird, but it's in a good way. This smells amazing, very earthy, but the, the berry, which I'm guessing is like a holly berry, is very light. You don't smell like a berry or cranberries or anything like that. It's more about the earthy pine garland mixing with that sage and like possibly lavender. Very, very nice scent. Very soapy pine needle kind of a scent. The next one is a new one for this year. When I first seen this label, I mean, I was just super excited. It's called A Wonderful Winter, and it's a super beautiful, like, white and baby blue color. Oh my gosh, I love this color scheme where it's like this blue-tinted white Christmas scene. I just think it's amazing. The scent on this is so unique. Oh my gosh, this thing has dichotomy, you guys. It's like total two different ways this thing could travel. To me, this smells like Sensational's Cozy Cottage, which is an apple cinnamon bakery scent, and then it smells like it mixed with Sensational's No Place Like Home, which is like a eucalyptus cinnamon scent. So it has the warm, coziness of the Cozy Cottage, like an apple cinnamon, and then it has the brisk, chilly, invigorating scent of like the eucalyptus from No Place Like Home. So it's almost like you're walking through the, the woods in the winter, it's snowing, you finally get to a little cabin made of wood, and you go inside and it's nice and warm, and there's like a hot apple, cinnamon apple pie baking, and you're still chilly from coming in outside, but it's warm inside, and you still kind of have that chill in your ears and stuff. I mean, it just smells like something like that. It's that good. It smells like an apple cinnamon bakery scent mixing with eucalyptus. There's a chili note that's really weird. I've never smelt an apple cinnamon bakery note with, like, a, a minty aspect like that. Very different. Speaking of minty aspect, we have a few of them coming up. And this one is Twinkling Holiday Lights. I love this scent. Now, this is a returning one from last year. It's a green color. Um, absolutely I love this. To me, this is just a straight-up, very simple pine and mint. Now, this is not eucalyptus mint. This isn't peppermint, where it's, like, super blasting. We have that coming up. This is just, like, a straight-up clean mint and then pine. Smells amazing. Very, very, very nice scent. Okay, now this one is your blast of a, a mint scent. This one is Snowy Winter Woods. This one also is returning from last year. This one is like peppermint turned way up. And then you have the woods in the background. Now, the woods aren't like piney, per se. I mean, there might be pine in this, but it's more like a, a rustic woods mixed with like a whole bunch of creamy peppermint. And it's not overly creamy, but you can tell that there's, you know, maybe a, a, a dash of vanilla in with the woods. It's more of that, like, rustic woody smell with, like, a whole bunch of, like, icy peppermint. Very, very, very nice scent. The next one is, like, one of my all-time favorite Better Homes and Gardens scents, and it is called Frosty Winter Nights. I love anything that's, like, dark and mysterious looking. The wax is a dark blue color, one of my favorite colors. You know, the scenery on this, the artwork, the imagery is amazing. Um, the scent on this is just perfection, in my opinion. It is a um, tiny bit of woods, maybe. It has eucalyptus. It has the musk, definitely. It has um, maybe like a little bit of wintergreen, I think, in here, too, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of wintergreen with the eucalyptus, musky, woodsy. Very, very beautiful scent. Okay, and then the last one is like my Holy Grail Better Homes and Gardens scent. I absolutely love this. Look forward to it coming out every year. And it is called Warm Crackling Campfire. But dark brown color. This is like a fireside kind of scent. It has the woodsiness. It has the spiciness. It has the smokiness. It has that... Um, it does smell crackling, too. I don't know how they did it. There's a lot of spices in this. Like, I smell spices, but it's not like it's just a cinnamon scent, you know what I mean? Like, this is very unique. It's blended amazingly. Just absolutely incredible. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So yeah, that is the 2015 Winter Christmas Holiday Collection from Better Homes and Gardens. I noticed that this year they didn't have the Winter Ski Resort, which is a favorite of mine. I'm kind of going to miss that one, I think. And then also they didn't bring back all the glitters, and I, I didn't like that scent when it first came out, but then when I, I stocked up on it during Christmas clearance and ended up really liking it, and now I think I'm going to miss it, actually. So that is a beautiful scent. So yeah, I think that this is a pretty good collection. You know, Frosty Winter Nights right here, and then the Warm Crackling Campfire are definitely two of my favorites. And 
so yeah, that's the little haul for the winter Christmas collection this year. Um, I'll probably do another video for the Sensationals ones when they put bring those out. I know in the past they just put those in like those big bins that we kind of have to like paw through. But until the next video, guys, smell well.